there are a total of four linear rails which drive your Z-axis. They are mounted on the inside of the extrusions of the sides of your frame. To mount them you need to use M3's 8mm screws and M3 T-nuts. You also need to use the spacers which should be included uh, in your PIF kit or printed out so you can position the rails correctly. The rails should have a 3mm gap between the bottom extrusion and the rail end. This is so these belt covers can fit nicely. You can either measure 3mm and mount your rails a bit higher or print this in advance as I did. After you take the rails out of the packaging, inspect them. If the rails are too greasy or covered in oil, it is always a good idea to do degrease them and apply some lubrication on the ridge. Mine are pretty dry and will be installed as is. If you are building 350mm Warren as I do, each rail will be having 20 holes, so 10 screws and 10 nuts should be placed in every extrusion. After I have placed all the nuts into the profile, it helps a lot to hold the really linear rail close and align all the nuts in the sequence that they should be. When you are done placing the nuts, you can start putting your screws in and slightly tightening them. When you are done with the screws, put a 3mm spacer or a ready uh, belt cover. and lower the ra linear rail to the very bottom. When the linear rail is on the correct height, put your spacers on the linear rail so it's centered. Now we are ready to tighten our screws. Don't over tighten them, just enough to hold everything in a position. After you're done with this linear rail, repeat the same process for three more and your Z-axis are done.